Um, in hindsight, um, do you think it was a mistake for Democrats to stay silent on all the heated um, rhetoric from the president and some Republican senators? I mean, the Republicans kept this, the control of the Senate, and some of them ran on this anti-immigrant rhetoric. So are you, in hindsight, you know, maybe thinking that that was a mistake for Democrats to stay silent? No, I do not. I, t I urge our colleagues not to take the bait on what the president was putting out there. It's a very dangerous issue on the campaign trail because of the misrepresentations that are put out there. Uh, you don't uh, win a fight by fighting that same fight. You win by sticking with the program for the people, lower health care costs, bigger paychecks, cleaner government. That produced a big victory for us in spite of the gerrymandering that the Republicans have done. I have no regret. McConnell is, is pledging to, again, vote on the border wall and, and border security funding that he claims Democrats um, push, push back on. Well, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't know. I, I, I didn't watch his press conference. I don't know exactly what he said, but what I will say is this. One of the biggest um, resources that we have, when I say we, the American people, and we as representatives, is public sentiment. You've heard me say, many of you again and again, Abraham Lincoln, President Lincoln said, public sentiment is everything. With it, you can accomplish almost anything. Without it, practically nothing. And I do believe that one of the reasons that we will be successful in our negotiations is because the people will see the impact of what is being proposed on their lives, on their values, on our country. And so that is, as look, President Ronald Reagan, President George Herbert Walker Bush, President Clinton, President George W. Bush, President Obama, all valued the contribution of newcomers to our country with their hope, their determination, their optimism, their courage to make the future better for their families. They're all American traits. And when they come with those values, they make America more American. Other presidents saw that. This president used it as a, uh, in fear mongering. I just don't think that's right. But in order to get in a position to fight it, we had to win on the issues that strike right to the financial security of America's working families, and those are our values.